Coming up, the king of R&B made millions off of his Trapped in the Closet CD. I guess it was pretty easy to write since it was his real life, allegedly. Who knew? Oh, we got so much to talk about today. Welcome to the chat. And welcome to the chat. I'm Catalina Alerz Alerz. We have Henny Angelia and guest host Kelly Gade, as in ballet, with us today. That's how she, I just learned how to say her name today. It was such a good, good little, good little tip to learn how to say it. All right, so there is a lot going on today. We're just going to jump right in with R&B singer R. Kelly. He's denying an article by BuzzFeed that he was keeping a household of young women in a cult atmosphere. This is so weird. The article accuses R. Kelly of targeting young women who come to him for help with their music careers. It claims he seduces them before taking control of their lives, forbidding contact with the outside world, and taping their sexual encounters. The allegations come from the parents of several women who say their daughters have all but vanished. So, ladies, these are some pretty serious allegations, mm -hmm. and R. Kelly's got a history. What do you guys think? And, and you know what, and that's, I'm trying to understand my feelings with this because right now I'm, I'm still on the fence because he does have a history of young girls. That is the, the running joke for years and years and years when you talk about R. Kelly, we always talk about the young girls, mm -hmm. the poor choices that he seems to make when it comes to picking the ladies that he chooses to spend his time with. Um, this is, these are very serious allegations, right. but I always say mm -hmm. where there is smoke, there is fire. So part of me wants to believe this, especially this morning after watching the Wendy Williams show. And she chimed in and she dished on this and she said she know what she saw. Back in the day when she was doing radio. Oh yeah, that's right. That there was a VHS, a secret VHS tape that was rushed over to her at the studios. She and her husband, and she calls him some dude from Chicago, got in back of a limo and they rode around and they watched this tape. She didn't say what was on it, but she gave the look. Well, and that look told you everything mm. that you needed to know. Um, not basing my opinion off of that, but I'm just saying where there's smoke, there's fire. I'm really disappointed. I find this extremely disturbing mm -hmm. on many levels. But the thing is, is that these women are of age, and so they have a choice. Now, they may be brainwashed to an extent. I, I mean, they must be in order to be staying in these kind of um, situations, but they are of age, so they have a choice. The neat part, I mean, the one part that I saw, it was on Billboard um, magazine that was online, and it was interesting because it was um, interviewing all of his assistants. The assistants had really, really bad things to say about him, yeah. and some actually had relationships, sexual mm -hmm. relationships with them, and one in particular said, you will love R. Kelly whenever you first meet him, how charming he is, and then when you get to know him, Robert comes yeah. out. R. Kelly and is sweet, Robert but Robert is, is Robert. Devil. the That's devil. Right, yeah. And so that was really telling for me. Mm -hmm. People that are on the inside and people that know him intimately, those are the ones that know exactly what's going on, maybe mm -hmm. like Wendy Williams knows. Mm -hmm. But well, I think if you're on that side, you know exactly what's going on. We're on the outside and we see just the timeline of what's happened in mm -hmm. his life. Mm -hmm. What I have found interesting also, though, is the two places that he has homes, Chicago and Georgia, mm -hmm. the consent, the legal um, sexual consent age in Chicago is 16. I'm, I'm sorry, in, uh, in uh, Georgia is 16 and Chicago is 17. So unlike Florida, us having 18, mm -hmm. he chose two places where the younger girls mm -hmm. are actually more legal than he, and so and he always seems to go towards these 13, 14, 15, yeah. 16 year old girls. I never girls. understood why he did. He, he has well, the Well, obviously of that. that's yeah. what he likes. There's an issue. Oh, There's yeah. an There's issue there. Issue. And no matter what, nobody should be treated like this. I mean, mm -hmm. I read that he makes them wear certain clothes so oh, that yeah. people can't see their figures, that he, he forces them to face the wall so that mm -hmm. people can't look at their faces. Specifically their men. Faces. He, he doesn't want any other men looking yes. at these women. Yes. And, and forces them to call him daddy. I mean, mm -hmm. these are just, nobody should have to live under these circumstances. Mm -hmm. So it's unacceptable to me and disgusting. But it's really sad because, I mean, he's really preying off of these girls that want a career in music. Yes. And so he's saying, I'll take you in. And that's yeah. what the sad thing is, is this mom, who was really, sounds like she was an incredible stage mom, was willing to protect her child and say, yeah. he, you know, I 
met him mm. and I was with him. I checked him out. out. I made sure because I was worried about the prior allegations. And so being on a mom on the other side, making sure that your child is completely safe and she allowed her to go because mm -hmm. she felt like he was a safe person. Well, he, it was two sides to him. I'm sure he was showing mom right. the course, nice the and R. sweet Kelly. side until they kind of let go. But you have to realize R. Kelly was dangling this lavish lifestyle in front of these girls. Right. And they watch these videos, they listen to these songs, mm -hmm. they look on social media, and they think that this is the real life that they want, that they mm -hmm. choose, that they're wanting. And he's, you know, possibly telling them he would give this life to them if they do what he say. The allegations against him right now is just absolutely sickening. There is even an allegation of a young woman who um, was at a subway and she mm -hmm. was being friendly with the cashier. And he did, obviously, Robert or, or Kelly didn't like that. So when they got back to the house, he made her, allegedly, he made her stay on the bus for three days, would mm -hmm. not let her come out as punishment. He punished these girls if they didn't do what he said do, allegedly. So I'm sure there's going to be way, way, way more of this because there's all these press conferences happening. He's, he's already denied it. He's trying to cover his butt right now, but I'm sorry. It. It's a little bit too much smoke for me. But he's gotten out of it for so long. I mean, every allegation, he's mm -hmm. he's been able to skate every out. Every lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. Just a little bit of probation, settles. which was yeah. on the basketball court. It had nothing to do with women. That's the only thing he had a probation over. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll mm -hmm. keep you informed on that one. But anyway, something else is trending for all the wrong reasons today. Walmart's apology. It comes after a racial slur appeared in one of its online product descriptions. On their website, a weaving cap was described with a racially insensitive word. Walmart says sorry and blames the third party seller posing as the company out of the United Kingdom. The post has since been deleted, but... These are really strong words that were actually posted on with this cap. Mm -hmm. And this company, I mean, seems, I was looking up this company online and the it's really kind of sad because they've actually had to post something online saying, we're sorry, but we were made aware this morning in UK time that something has happened with that's put our company name at risk. And so we wanna make sure that we are no part of this and we're getting it taken care of. We're trying to get Walmart to take this down. So. Can you imagine your company waking up that morning and saying, oh gosh, you know, we've so got some... So who was saying this, the company the or company, Walmart? Um, the company itself.